today. Uh, gotta talk to you. Uh, gotta show you how to lay your wig. Since we gotta get it right this summer 2020. Uh, uh, we uh, uh. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your girl, Renee. Today, I wanted to bring to you a tutorial on how to slay your wig. This tutorial is very beginner friendly. Like, honestly, you don't need all the extra stuff that everybody be trying to tell you you need to slay your wig. So, I am in the process of growing my hair back. If you guys can't tell, we get in there a little bit. So, it's pushed to the back because when I used to wear it to the front, you know, I used to do my little waves and stuff. It's getting way too long for that. I look like a mess. So. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what I'm doing to grow my hair out. I wanna grow my hair into a natural bob. It's probably gonna take me at least like six months. So I'm gonna be wearing wigs, a lot of protective styles, stuff like that. And so today I just want to show you how to slay and lay your wig. So let's go. Okay, so first off, what you wanna do is make sure that you snip snip your lace off. I've already cut the lace off of the front of the wig. And now I'm going to just cut the lace off of the back of the wig. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's some lace there. So I'm gonna make sure I cut that off. You wanna be careful and make sure that you're not clipping any hair. I don't happen to have any clips because the hair stores in California are all closed. So I'm having to kind of do this without clips. But if you can find a way to get between the lace and the hair like I'm doing, you don't need clips or anything else. You can kind of just eye it and do it that way. I really like this wig, you guys. Like straight out of the box, it can go right on your head. You ain't even really gotta do much to it. And I think this is why it's such a good, good wig and it's beginner friendly because you don't have to pluck, you don't have to dye, you don't have to bleach knots, nothing. It's like perfect. So now that I've cut my lace off with very minimal hair attached to it, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it back over right quick. So I always like to like run the comb through it and kind of like get it right. So let me see what it's looking like on my head. I just wanna make sure it fits my hair, my head, before I um, attach it, okay? So do you guys kind of see how like perfect this wig is already? Of course it's kind of like a little thick. I need to do some straightening to it, but it's like perfect already. So what I'm gonna do is check my ears. So you see that lace right there? I'm gonna measure it up and make sure that my ears, that my ear curve is not being covered by it. And it is a little bit, but let me just make sure I'm even before I do anything. So it is a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take the hair, pull it back a little bit, and I'm just gonna snip around that ear curve. What you wanna do is hold it down to your ear, like pull it down, this lace right here, you wanna pull it down. And then you wanna take your scissors, and you gotta be very careful, make sure you don't cut yourself. But you wanna take your scissors and you snip around the ear. So I'm gonna, I've already snipped around that ear. I'm gonna snip around this one really quick. So this is the part that's coming off. Y'all see that lace attached there kinda? It's coming off. And then I'm gonna just pull the wig a little bit because I cut some hair, cut into the hair. So I'm just gonna pull the wig. And y'all see all that hair that's kinda coming down? Yeah. Okay guys, so now that we've got that part together, we've kind of snipped our ears and we made sure the wig fits our perimeter. We are gonna go ahead and take a little bit of foundation, flip the wig inside out and just put some foundation on the inside lace of the wig. So I'm using Berry Essentials um, Mineral Foundation. This is actually what I use on my face. It's on my face right now. And you just wanna take whatever foundation you use for your face, whether it's a powder or a liquid and you wanna just put it on the inside lace of the wig. Not a whole lot because you don't want it getting into the hair of the wig. It'll go through the lace up into the hair fibers. So you don't want a whole lot. Otherwise, you're going to have to wash your wig and like start over again. So I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to put it on the inside. Okay. I'm just going to dip a little bit and I'm just patting it in, you know, so that I make sure I get like the edge part and enough to part all the way back like I want to. Not a whole lot, because like I said, it will go through the fibers and into the actual wig. That is not what you want. So once I did that, I'm just gonna turn it back the right way. And I'm gonna comb Shorty down. I think I should name her Shirley. She looked like she would be a Shirley. Yeah. So then you comb Shirley down, right? And now it's time for the fun part to lay and style the wigs. So to lay my wigs, I either use got to be glued or I use um, Gorilla Snot hair gel. 
Um, and so Gorilla Snot holds just as well as got to be glued if you ask me i actually like the got to be glued gel versus the spray um and i like that gorilla snot i don't if i can remember right it doesn't turn white so yeah that's what we're going to be doing when you're laying your hair down with the gel you want to make sure that you're not using your hands your hands have a lot of oil germs dirt and stuff on them so you want to make sure you're using like the end of your comb to lay it or like the edge of your toothbrush or something like that, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just squirt a little bit out onto my comb or toothbrush and I'm just gonna like put a very thin layer on my forehead and kind of like push it back. And then I'm gonna let it air dry for a bit, okay? So you wanna put your wig on your head um, right before you lay it down and then you wanna pull it forward to make sure that you get it perfectly in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Gorilla Snot. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a very thin layer on my forehead here, and I'm just gonna, I'm only putting it in the middle of my forehead. So the good thing about this wig is you literally don't have to lay down the whole perimeter. If you want to, you can, but I'm just, I'm quarantined, I ain't going nowhere. So I'm just doing this so I can just be in the house. The wind ain't blowing out here, it ain't going nowhere. And I'm just gonna let this air dry a little bit um, until it gets kind of like tacky. And then once it gets tacky, gets tacky, you can do two layers of this. So if you want to like have your lit, your wig laid, laid, then you would do two layers. You would let this dry till it gets like tacky, and then you put another layer on and let that dry till it gets like tacky. Then attach your wig. But I'm just gonna kind of let this one air dry till it gets like pretty tacky, and then I'm gonna put the wig on because I don't need it to be laid down like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And to be honest, guys, I kind of should have got a shorter length. I didn't want it to be like this long. But then I kind of like it this long because then I can like curl it and it'll like draw up a little bit more. Cause if I would've got it shorter and curled it, then it would be like way up here. But if I curl this, it'll probably be like the perfect height of a bob. But I kind of want to cut this, but I'll probably cut it after I've kind of got some wear out of it. This is my first time actually wearing it and attaching it. But yeah, you want to make sure when you pull it forward that the wig is not rolled under. Cause the wig will roll under. So you want to make sure you pull it forward like this and then lay. That makes sense, okay? Once you get it in place, you wanna take a comb, not your fingers, like I said, and make sure that it's actually in place, right? Take a comb, not your fingers, and you wanna press it down. Okay, so I think I've got mine laid where I want it, and what you can do to speed up the process of it drying is just get under the either the dryer or take a hand blow dryer um, on cool, low, and just kind of like concentrate it right there. Okay, so for the styling part, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Design Essentials. And you can use any type of foaming lotion, honestly, it's just to lay the wig down because they can be kind of puffy. And you just wanna take a little bit and you wanna put it on either side of the part, of course, because that's where they're the puffiest. You wanna put it back in like the crown area because that's where the wig sometimes tends to be the puffiest too. And you wanna comb it down into the hair a little bit. You wanna put it in the back part, like I said. And then you want to go ahead and kinda of like take a flat iron or a curling iron, whatever you have, and kinda of like flatten that area, okay? So like this, like so. So heat lays it down and it'll make it last a little bit better too. Okay, so once you've got your part area flattened, you know, I think that looks pretty decent. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten down here so it doesn't look like I have a whole mane. And before I straighten, I'm just gonna take a little, little, little tiny bit of coconut oil and just run it through and then I'm gonna straighten. I'm literally taking the tiniest bit of oil, y'all see that, like tiniest bit, and I'm gonna run it through my hair. Next, I'm just gonna take my flat iron and very gently, since I didn't double lay this down, I'm gonna very gently flat iron it. Can y'all see the difference already? Like, 
Come on, sis. Push through, sister. It's lit. Once again, I did not lay down this part right here. So you also see my lace flapping up? I didn't lay it down. There's no need to because I ain't going nowhere. Now, if I was going somewhere or I planned on being at Disneyland all day or something crazy like that, I would probably lay it down. But I'm sitting in the house. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. So next up, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I went to the bathroom and cut some inches off of the wig because I just feel like it was just too long and too like wiggy looking. So I took my husband's shears and I got to cutting. And I'm probably honestly gonna like cut even more. Um, yeah, like especially in the back, I'm probably gonna cut more. But I think I like the way it turned out so far, especially in the front. I think it's a pretty good length. I'm probably gonna cut, like I said, just a little bit more to make it more like mm, classy, sophisticated, ooh, bob, you know what I'm saying? So this is the end of my tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for all the love on our previous cover that we uploaded this week, our singing cover. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. It's my husband and I were playing homage and tribute to Bill Withers. He passed away this week, so yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. And if you like this video, thumbs up. If you wanna see more like this, please let me know. Like, let me know what you wanna see, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.